well it's Friday, March 22nd, and John says this, Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. He answered them, I've shown you many good works from my father. For which of these are you going to stone me? The, Jesus, the Jews answered him, we're not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, is it not written in your law? I said, you are gods. And if it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, scripture cannot be set aside. Can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated sent into the world blasphemes because I said I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power, went across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized. There he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. Many there began to believe in him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, this is kind of a piggyback on yesterday's gospel. They're again trying to get to him. They're, they're trying to stone him. They're trying to kill him. And he will have none of that. And he really, he really tells them like it is, okay? Believe in the works, even if you don't believe in me, because they come from God. They come from God. I do what I do in the world. I'm not blaspheming. I am here to bring the power of God alive in the way that I heal people, that I proclaim, that I preach. You see the power of God before you. But they were blind. They didn't want to see it. They weren't going to hear it. They just wanted him gone. So he manages to escape their clutches and goes back to where John was baptizing, where he knew people would receive him. Not having a good time up at the temple, that's a very sacred place with a whole lot of high-minded, <coughs> excuse me, high-minded people. And Jesus is, they're not having any of him being in the temple area, preaching and proclaiming. So perhaps he needed a rest. I've had enough here. I'm going to go back to where John was baptizing. And there he finds many begin to believe in him. Everything people say about this man was true. That's a quote. So they began to gather around him, and he must have felt a certain comfort zone here. Let us be part of the comfort zone around Jesus ourselves. Let us take comfort in his word, in his life, and live those words. Easter is around the corner. God bless and I will see you soon. Take care. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a well-trained tongue that I may know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled and have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food and in my 
thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our errors. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God his Father, fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. reflection for the good things you have done for us, most of all the presence of Christ in our lives, who leads us each day to discipleship, workers in the vineyard of life. May we continue to work for this better world that you promise through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers, the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. For they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have to need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from the least to the greatest shall know me, says the Lord. For I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Abednego.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, He became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, asking him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, I say to you. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loses his, whoever loves his life will lose it. Whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. For wherever I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. It was for this purpose I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will do so again. The crowd who heard it said it was thunder, but others said an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice does not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on the world. Now the ruler of the world will be driven out, and I will be lifted up from the earth. I will draw everyone to myself. He said this indicating the kind of death that he would die. This, my friends, is the gospel of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. To die to self, to live for others, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground, It remains a grain of wheat, but if it dies, it produces much fruit. 
to die to self and to live for others. We all do that at times in our lives. <clears throat> when my father was dating my mother, he rode a motorcycles and raced them and was a pit steward on dirt and board tracks throughout the United States in the 1930s. It was one of the great loves of his life to have his bike. And so when they were courting, he put my mother on the back of it. You can imagine where this story is going. And they got home to Madison Avenue in Patterson, and my mother looked at my father and she said, it's either me or the bike. Well, I guess you know how that story ended. Interestingly enough, many years later, and this has nothing to do with anything, but I think it's a, uh, it's a great epilogue to my dad. I was home after I was teaching when I was a priest, and he came limping through the door, and I think I may have told you the story before. He came limping into the house in great pain and agony, and at the time he was helping out in a gas station on Valley Road where the TD Bank is, a fellow named Jim Kelly. Many people last night remember Jim. And my father was kind of the gopher at his advanced age. And he sat down in great pain and he said, I slipped on some oil in the garage bay and fell on my leg badly. And it hurts and I, I didn't break anything. And so a few days went by and I stopped in at the place and Jim said, how's your dad? And I said, he's, he's, uh, he's in pain, but he's, he's doing okay. And he said, you know, I told him not to get on that motorcycle. <laughs> and I said, what motorcycle? He said, the one he took out for a test drive down Valley Road. I said, what was he doing on a motorcycle? He said, well, I saw a gleam in his eye, and he wanted to just, just one last time. I thought, well, this is interesting. So I made plans to be home for dinner that night, and he came limping in, and I said, so dad, how's the leg? Just fine, thank you. I said, oh, it must hurt an awful lot. I said, it's fine. I said, gee, you must have taken a terrible fall. I told you, it's fine. I had already told my mother, so we, we persecuted him for most of the hour that we sat at the dinner table, till we let him know. But I bring, up, I bring up the first part of the story because when you get married, you, you die to self to live for somebody else. When you bear children, you do the same thing. When we form relationships in life, we give something up of ourselves for the sake of the other person. Everyone does that at some point in our lives. We do it in our friendships, in our marriages, in our families. We die to self to live for other people in ways large and small throughout our lives. It gives life to the reading. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground, it remains just a grain of wheat. We would be selfish if we didn't do that. Okay, we would remain just the grain of wheat with, with nothing to show for a life. But when we die, we produce much fruit. When you look at your spouse and say, we're going to have a family. When brothers and sisters look at each other and say, we have to help mom and dad. We have to help each other. We are just like that, that grain of wheat. We can remain just that little grain of wheat, very selfish throughout our lives, or we can decide to live more broadly and more completely for other people. And yes, that means giving stuff up in your life. It means that there will be things that I won't do, places I might not go, money I might not have to spend, because there are other people who are more important to me, and I love them, and that's exactly what's going on here. Philip and, and, and Andrew went to Jesus, and you can imagine, you know, that not all the conversation is here. That's why I love supplying words that are missing. <clears throat> and I can imagine they're going uh, to Jesus and saying, there's people who want to see you. They want to look at you. What do you mean they want to look at me? I'm not here to be some kind of a spectator sport. And he is here and walks out to them and says, I I'm not here for you to see. I'm here for you to live by. I am here so you can live by what I have to tell you, which is this little grain of wheat story. Whoever serves me must follow me. I am here for you to follow me. I am here so that you might serve me in the vineyard of life. Where I am, there will my servant be. And God expects this of you. 
God expects it of you and I, too. What does it say here? The Father will honor whoever serves me. And the power to do that is well spoken of in the first reading. Here's Jeremiah, the reluctant prophet. You know, poor Jeremiah. Why do I have this job? Why did you pick me? Okay? And what is, what is said here? What does God say? I will place my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts. A couple of weeks ago, I talked about the grace of God. That's what it is. It's written on our, I will be their God, and they will be my people. We belong to God. It's that simple. We, we, were, we were made in the image and likeness of God. We belong to God, and God has written a message on our hearts. If I didn't believe that, I wouldn't stand here. If you didn't believe it, you wouldn't be sitting here. We are here because we believe that God has written on our hearts wonderful things to live by, to grow by. And that's what Jesus is saying. Don't be that selfish little grain of wheat, but rather die to self so that you can live for others. And it's not always easy to do that because, like I said, we could be doing other things. What does Jesus say? What should I say? I'm troubled. Father, save me from this hour. Like in the garden, let this cup pass me by. But then he says, it's for this purpose that I am here. I can't ignore that. I cannot ignore that. In, in a marriage, that's what husband and wife say to, the, to each other. It's for this purpose that I married you. It's for this purpose that we had kids. It's for this purpose that we, we, we make friendships. We have come for that reason. And, what it, and then the voice comes and says, he's right. Listen to everything he's saying. A voice from heaven, I glorify it and I will do so again. And then finally, Jesus says, the voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. But for yours. And now is the time of judgment in the world. God expects it of us. God has expectations of everyone in this room about how we will die to self to build a better world. You know, it's nice to come here. It's a comfortable place uh, perched on this hillside. It really is, but we have to leave eventually. We have to go out the doors into the world, and that's where every word of this gospel really comes true. He says, I am lifted up. I will draw everyone to myself, and that's him being lifted up on the cross, and he draws us to himself. This is a really powerful reading. John's Gospels are often very convoluted, but this one really is crystal clear, and it relates so well to Jeremiah, letting us all know that we, we owe a great deal to God, and following Jesus is how we get there. It's how we get there. Whoever serves me must follow me. Where I am, there also will my servant be. It's Jesus calling us to himself in our everyday lives. Please rise. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We place our prayers and petitions before Almighty God. For those dedicated to the faith formation and for those whom share the treasures of the church, Lord, in your mercy. Hear us. For, though, for the undaunted faith in the members of this assembly and our elect catechumens and candidates, Lord, in your mercy. Hear us. For those who generously share their time, talent, and treasure, Lord, in your mercy. Hear us. For the homebound, for those in rehabilitation, and for those in hospice care, Lord, in your mercy. Hear us. For those who are in need of our prayers, and all those who have asked us to pray for them, and for all whose names appear on the sick list in our parish bulletin, may God fill their lives with healing and peace. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear us. For all those who have died to rise with Christ in eternal life, especially Anne Raimundo, Antonos Boriscus, Frank and Lucille Marshall, Fernanda Muti, Salvatore Bonanno, Anna Turkic, and Teresa Schiavone, for whom this Mass is offered, Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, and blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Consolation. And now, my friends, as we have shared the Word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. Friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection.
St. Jude is the patron saint of hopeless causes and desperate situations. Catholics have relied on his intercession in times of extreme need for centuries. This apostle and martyr has helped countless souls through his epistle in the New Testament and his intercessions on behalf of those who seek his aid in times of trial. Pray this St. Jude Novena for your intentions asking St. Jude to intercede to God the Father, his Son Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit on your behalf. We like to say that he is the patron saint of impossible causes, because even though something may seem hopeless, with God there is always hope. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Most Holy Saint Jude, Apostle, Martyr, and Friend of Jesus, today I ask that you pray for me and my intentions. You are the patron of the impossible. Pray for me and my intentions. O St. Jude, pray that God's grace and mercy will cover my intentions. Pray for the impossible if it is God's will. Pray that I may have the grace to accept God's holy will, even if it is painful and difficult for me. St. Jude, you loved our Lord. Help me to love him more. O St. Jude, pray for me that I may grow in faith, hope, and love, and in the grace of Jesus Christ. Pray for these intentions, but most of all, pray that I may join you in heaven with God for all eternity. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, who will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth 
as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning of thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, 
full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Fifth Sorrowful Mystery the crucifixion and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, our hope. To thee do we pray, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy toward us, and after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, while meditating upon the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, my friends, as we have shared the Word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. My friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection. <laughs> 